Well, this integral is not really difficult, but it's a very good example for, for practice the basic techniques of integrations. So, let me start with this example from 0 to log 2. Now, this integral could be written as uh, e to the to x, right, and e to the 2x minus 1, isn't it? And dx. <clears throat> then this one is equal to, um, this could be taken out, so 1 over e to the x, and the square root, e to the 2x minus 1. Dx. When I see this kind of square root, we all, we always use a, a trigonometric substitution, right? We let e to the x be secant theta, and x is equal to uh, log secant theta, right? Now then, our integral is equal to uh, one over one over one over secant is cosine, right? It's cosine uh, square root. This will be secant square theta minus one, and uh, dx will be the derivative of log secant with respect to theta, that is a tangent theta, d theta, okay? This is a dx. And uh, the, the boundary has been changed. When x equals 0, uh, when x equals 0, secant is equal to 1. Secant is equal to 1, that means uh, theta is equal to zero. When uh, when x equal to when x equals log two, that means secant theta is two. Secant theta is two that is theta equal to pi over three. Okay, that's good. And uh, then this is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 3 cosine theta. Secant theta is secant theta minus 1 is tangent square. So after square is tangent. So it becomes tangent square, right? Tangent square is equal to tangent times tangent, tangent square is a sine square over cosine square d theta. This is equal to from 0 to pi over 3. Cosine cancel out. Cosine cancel out becomes a sine square over cosine, which is equal to sine theta times tangent theta. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't have to do that, do I? Well, I don't have to do that. This means the tangent is, uh, this is a cosine. This is sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. d theta. Right? So 1 over, wait a minute, 1 over cosine is secant. Well, d 
the theta minus into this over that is cosine, right? Cosine theta d theta. So this one is a log secant plus 10. Uh, from uh, 0 to pi over 3 minus this is sine, right? Sine theta from 0 to pi. So this one is equal to secant pi over 3 is 2. Tangent pi over 3 is uh, root 3. Secant 0 is uh, 1, 10 is 0, your log 1 is 0. So, okay, it's good. Minus root 3 over 2. Yeah, that is a nice answer for our for, for integral. It's a very good example for basic basic techniques of integrations, you know. Thank you.